Hey everyone, Chris Yarnett here for Car Player TV. I'm here with Ahmet Makija. How's it going? It's going good. How are you, Christy? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for talking. Today, we're going to talk about playing small pairs in tournaments and knowing when to set mine. Because a lot of times, it seems like people uh, beginners make the mistake in the tournament uh, trying to set mine but not really knowing when. So so what kinds of situations are you playing small pairs, let's say sevens or below, uh -huh. to set mine? What kinds um, of things are you looking for? Usually you're looking for deeper sacks because when you set mine, you're, you're all, whenever you set mine, you're a favorite not to hit a set. Okay. You're going to hit a set um, you know, a very rare amount of times. <laughs> so when you hit your set, you want to be able to get paid. So the like optimal situations for set mining are when um, the other person figures to have a strong hand. Like if you put him on a, a pretty narrow range, like he raises from under the gun or something, and um, you have like pocket sevens, let's say. And you just want to flat with the intention of giving up unless you flop a set. And if you flop a set, you're going to try to get a stack if he's got an overpair. Mm -hmm. And those are the ideal conditions. All right, now in early position, do you ever want to raise with a small pair to disguise your hand because I feel like if you're limping and then calling mm -hmm. a raise in early position, it almost looks like you've got a small pair and you're trying yeah. to see a flop. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think you should raise sometimes because I think if you limp in, usually, like if you're a good player, you're not limping a very wide range of hands okay. from early position. Mm -hmm. And if you limp in, um, it, you're, it's like a small pair or nothing. And then when you flop a set, it's tough to extract bets when you're not the pre-flop raiser. So it's a good idea to do it sometimes. But I think you should mix in some limps. And then you should limp with some other kind of hands, too. Now, when playing those small pairs, when you've got a medium to short stack, should you even be playing them in early position? Um, in early position, if your stack is really short, like 15 big blinds or less, you can prop, and there's antis in the pot, you can probably profitably shove with the small pairs. Because okay. they figure to be um, you know, in good shape, when, in fine shape when you're called. And, you're going to pick up the pot and increase your stack by a lot, a good percentage of the time. Um, in, but regularly in early position, when you have like 20 bets, it's kind of awkward to play them because you don't want to raise and call off all your stack, and it's probably and they don't figure to necessarily be the best hand at the table, so mm -hmm. you, it's better to just probably fold them. Okay. Now, if you're in late position and there is a raise in front of you, and it's marginal whether you even have any fold equity, do you do you ever just throw it away? Um, you sometimes can. I mean, if you have no fold equity, if you it, let's say a late position person makes it three times the big blind and you have like pocket threes, you probably don't want to shove because even if they're raising like suited connectors and stuff, you're you're still flipping and you can just find better spots to open shove and make more money in the long run. But there's definitely there's definitely spots where like if you have sevens and there's a guy who's raising like a crazy amount of hands, even if you don't have fold equity, you can go with them because they figure to be the best hand. You can have like threes, twos. Uh, like seven six suited where you can get it in really good against him. Definitely that's really good advice because I found myself in a couple tournaments like I'm short stack, I finally have a pair, mm -hmm. I want to stick it in but that was a good way yeah, to explain sure. the different kinds yeah, of sure. ways to think about it. So thank you so much for talking about small no problem. and playing tournaments. Thanks Christy. Christy Arnett with Amit Makija for Car3 TV.